Welcome, Canonites, to a new series here on Halo Canon, known as Canon Fodder, named so for the Halo Waypoint articles on which it will be based. I would like to call this one the first episode, but that title technically belongs to last week's video looking at the announcement of Halo New Blood. Anyway, what is Canon Fodder, you ask? It's a closer look at, well, Halo's Canon. 343 writer Jeff Easterling, aka Grim Brother One, has taken it upon himself to give us fans a deeper look at Halo's lore on a weekly basis. Along with shedding light on subjects not all that familiar with the fanbase at large, these articles also inform fans of new entries into the Halo Universe section of Halo Waypoint. If you love Halo lore at all, this is the blog post you'll be looking forward to on a weekly basis. And as a dedicated lore fan, I'll be bringing you every detail. So without further ado, let's dive in. This week's subject is, when exactly did the Halo Array fire? We've always been told it was 100,000 years ago, but this is a rough estimate at best. Moreover, 100,000 years from when? It's common among the fanbase to round the activation of the Array to 100,000 BCE. However, that's not 100,000 years from 2552, the time when we were first given that number by 343 Guilty Spark. If Spark were talking exact years, the firing of the Halo Array would be around 97,448 BCE. However, in 2007, we got a much better idea of exactly when the Array fired. In the midst of 2007, a Forerunner AI, Adjutant Reflex, found its way onto the internet and started talking with the users of Bungie.net. During one interaction, it revealed that the Array had fired 871,803,909 plus or minus 348 hours ago. This was posted on June 11, 2007. Working backwards with some simple math, we get the year 97,445 BCE. Of course, we could theoretically go even further. When doing the division to arrive at the activation date, you'll notice we get a pretty big decimal. From June 7, 2007, the array fired 99,452.8757002053 years ago. That huge decimal roughly translates to 320 days, rounding up. So, the array fired on the approximate date of July 26, 97,446 BCE, plus or minus 16 days. Even though this info is technically old, it's still pretty cool, especially when you work backwards or forwards along the Halo timeline. For example, we know that Mendicant Bias was talking with the Great Mind slash Primordial slash Timeless One for 43 years prior to the end of Halo Cryptum. Halo Salentium places the activation of the Halo Array roughly four years after that. Given this, we can infer that Mendicant Bias was given his task of conversing with the Grave Mind slash Timeless One slash Primordial in the approximate year of 97,493 BCE. And if you want, you can take it even further. The start of the Forerunner Flood War, the start of the Forerunner Human War, so on and so forth. So that pretty much wraps up this article. At the end of every canon fodder, we also get a look at what articles have been added to the Halo Universe section of Waypoint. This week we have the T-25 Plasma Pistol, the ARC-920 Railgun, the M-41 Rocket Launcher, and the M-45 Shotgun. While the articles may not seem like much, they do still contain interesting tidbits of information. For example, the Plasma Pistol entry notes that several subclasses of Plasma Pistols exist, perhaps canonizing the minor changes seen between the games, such as the Reach and Halo 4 variants having sights where previous versions did not. It could also be referencing the weapon skins seen in Halo 4, but the true meaning of that line is anyone's guess. Anyway, I encourage you to check out the articles for yourself, along with the universe section as a whole. There's a lot of great stuff in there. For now, this has been Halo Canon, and I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I could express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit, and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not be where I am without you. Thanks.